Hello all. Uh, my next latest trick will, uh, I was thinking about trying to pull something out of my hat, but then I changed my mind. Uh, what I'm going to do is I put practically what you'll see here now. This is my hand, of course, as you know. But um, do you remember how David Blaine could always uh, like put the thing on where he got his like, arm to do 360 degrees? Well, I can do better than that. All I have to do is just simply reach my hand in here and just simply start twisting, and I can twist all the way around in 360 degrees without any difficulty. And here's the best part. I'm now going to try to pull my arm over to one side. Arrgh! Arrgh! Focus. I'm literally going to turn my knife, my my hand into a hyper into a hyper serrated knife. You see, the thing is, my power um, my power of karate chop is so strong. I can literally take out a single. I can literally like take out like a single brick or a single table. I can even do this to my own hand. Watch this. One, two. Hiya! Ah! Oh, ow, that hurt. Now, to remove the remaining piece of crap. Ah! 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 Ow! Ah, shit, that hurts. Fuck. Ah! Ow! Ah! Youch! Ah! Ah, I'm trying to hold it sideways to prevent the blood from spilling out. Ah! Not to worry, though. Luckily... I pick a trick up off the BBC people. To quote David Tennant when he said in the Christmas invasion of Doctor Who, I'm a very lucky sort of man because I happen to be within the first 15 hours of my regeneration cycle, which means I have enough residual Time Lord energy left to do this. <sighs> <sighs> now I just got to clean up the blood that's a mess in my uh, jacket. And there you go. That's me being able to uh, pull a... Um, trick with my, uh, pull a trick with my, uh, pieces, eh? And check this out. I've got this long, big-ass scarf here. This should do nicely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take said hand the left over from earlier, my old hand, and I'm going to take it, I'm going to hold it up behind the cloth here, where it's perfectly able, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus, and three, Two, and all, and all of a sudden, lo and behold, the uh, thing has disappeared. And the thing is, I'll show you just to prove to you that I haven't uh, pulled any sort of trickery like uh, dropping it in my lap or something like a cheap ass trick like that. Here, look. I'm gonna move this thing back, and I'll bring it down. And as you can see, there's nothing in my lap. Like I said, nothing in my lap, nothing to this side here, and nothing to this side here. Over this way. See nothing on the ground of either side. And no, I wasn't trying to kick something out of the way. That's just cheap ass. So, how did I do that? I pulled my hand. I pulled my hand out of my sleeve after chopping my own arm off, and then I made the false hand disappear. Of course, if you, uh, of course, if you want proof that uh, things are uh, actually, if you want proof that there's uh, something magical going on here, let me uh, show you again. You see what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to pick it up this time. I'm going to pick up the handkerchief. I'm going once again. I'm going to pick up the handkerchief which should not be difficult, and lo and behold, I've been able to pull my hand back. See? Ta-da! Magic. Now, if only, only if it'd be cool if... Oh, well. Anyway, that's uh, my first magic, tricks. So, uh, for my next trick, I'm going to have to prep this one, so um, I'll just keep talking while uh, busy with this, right? Now, Enough of black claws or stick or stick like that. You know what I mean? Because that's the that's the thing about these things. They're so annoying. Anyway, so like I said, I had this black scarf, and um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to take it. I'm just going to chuck it over here. So there, you know, there won't be so there won't be any like real uh, reason to worry about that. But here's the thing now. Uh, this is the real trick which I was originally doing. Uh, I was originally naming this for out of my hat. I have here a standard hat. Okay. See, like I said, there's nothing in it. But check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to start pulling a rope out of my hat. But it gets better. You see, not only, and again, remember, there's no way for the uh, for the hat here to have a secret compartment in it. See, like I said, it was to was and is totally empty. Check this out, though. Remember the rope I had? It's dropping, right? Yeah. So here, now I'm just going to hold it. Now remember, you can see that my hands are both holding it. And I'm not doing any fakery, but check this out. 
Should have dropped, right? Nothing on this end. Nothing on this end. So how did I manage it? Dropped at my command. Like I said, I got some good stuff here. Um, let's see, what can I do for that has uh, that is uh, uniquely mine, uniquely my sort of trick? Well, that one with the false hand. Uh, well, that one with the hand was mine. And no, that wasn't a false hand. So let's see. Um, oh, I know which one I can work with. Um, I just need to. Uh, I just need to do a little prep here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to uh, allow you to observe my lap just to make sure there's nothing in it. And okay, let's see here. Yep. Good. So you've seen that there's nothing in my lap. I'm just trying to prove to you that there's no spare cards in here. Okay. There's no spare cards. Now. Oh wait, actually maybe I can't use that uh, trick this time. I'll just have. Um, but anyway, as you can see, like I said, no uh, spare cards whatsoever. And it's just going to be a matter of uh, just do, 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 yeah. Good. So as I said, no secrets of any sort. Okay, now, that having been said, like I said, just showing you to this side, showing you to this side, just allowing you to watch my thing briefly. Now here's my last trick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look. This is a standard deck of cards again, right? I've already shown you this before. But here's the thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, sorry, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to take care of that, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, like I said, just take these. I'm going to randomly shuffle them up and check this out, okay? These are randomly shuffled. I'm going to take my shirt pocket over here, okay? See? I'm just going to take everything out of my shirt pocket just to show you that there that afterwards it's completely clear. Okay? My pocket is going to be completely empty. I've emptied it out. There's absolutely nothing inside it. I'm going to put the deck inside my shirt pocket. There were no false shuffles used in this trick, okay? I'm going to put them right inside my shirt pocket here. The deck, okay? See, it's right inside my shirt pocket. I can show you again. See, the deck is inside my shirt pocket. There's no sort of secret tricks anywhere here being used. Now, I'm just simply going to uh, take my jacket again. As you can see, there's nothing unusual about my jacket. I'm just simply going to close it and go one, two. I've done a snap. Now, let's see. I'm just going to reach inside my shirt pocket just to verify. And one, two, three, four. Pull off the first top four cards. And lo and behold, I believe I managed to snap all four aces completely clean to the surface. There were no pre-preps to this deck. There were no false shuffling involved here. I think you'll enjoy that one. Let me just uh, bring the deck back out again. And let's see, one last trick. Ah, I know. Be really careful on your math on this one, and I'm going to try to read your mind. I'd like you to think of a number, any number. Multiply that number. <coughs> multiply that number by 2. Add 10. Divide by 2. Now subtract your original number from the number that you have now. I'm going to try to read your mind for the number that's in it. Remember, be careful on that. So think of any number. Multiply by 2. Add a 10. Divide by 2. Now subtract your original number from the number you have now. Try to read your mind for it. Uh, sorry, read your mind for the number that's now in your mind. Five. Did I get it? Good. And I'm just simply going to do uh, one more here. We're just going to stop at some random card, and I'm not going to be able to see what it is. Like I said, we're just going to stop at some random card here. Um, this one. I'm looking away, see? So I'm bringing it right up close to the camera so you can see, and I'm looking away. And just give me a sec to uh, quickly uh, put these things away. Hang on, sorry, this... Squaring this deck away is going to be a little trick. There we go. I've got it squared away. I'm going to read your mind for the card. Two of spades. There you go. I hope you enjoyed. Toodles.